Well, Max and Millie had a farm Together working all day long Plowing fields and sowing seeds Planting crops and pruning weeds The duck and Charlotte the hen Percy the pig is hungry again Shelly the sheep all covered in wool Yes, I yes, I think that's cool Max and Millie Say, so a job done well is a job well done Millie and Max When the job's well done, it's time for fun Hurry up, Millie, or they'll be here! Here I am, Max. Are we all set? Mm-hmm. Hair brushed, face washed. Are we ready to go? As ready as we'll ever be. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. I just can't wait, Millie. <laughs> Me neither, Max. So, let's, let's do, do it! it. certainly do. What? That little fluffy white cloud we saw before. Oh, that. Only it isn't so little and fluffy and white anymore. <gasps> it's big and black. And it isn't over there anymore. It's moved. And now it's right above us. But Millie, do you know what that means? I think I do, Max. We're going to get soaked to the skin. <laughs> it's all right for Henry. He's got his barn. But we brought our umbrellas, didn't we? Clever us. Something wrong, uh, Max? No, 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 no. Uh, yes. Nothing we farmers like more than a good drop of rain. I can't wait to hear the sound of rain pitter-pattering on our roof. You won't have to wait long, Max. The rain started to pitter patter down outside. <laughs> I love it when you're inside a snug, dry house. That's exactly how I feel, Max. Max? Yes, Millie? What's that sound? What sound? That sound. That drip, drip, drip sound, Millie? That's the one, Max. 
You don't think we've got a leaky roof, do you? Certainly not. No, 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 no. <gasps> yes. Well, one little leak's not too bad. <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. There's a leak here. Oh. And there's a leak here. Here a leak? There a leak. Everywhere a leak leak. It's raining inside the house. Well, this is keeping us dry. But our floor is getting very wet. Hmm. We need something to catch the rain. I've got an idea. Perfect. This will work nicely. Come on, Max. What should I do? Grab a container and put it under a leak. Like this. Oh, now, why didn't I think of that first? I don't think that's going to work very well, Millie. Why not? Oh, <laughs> silly me. It's got holes. That won't do at all. I think we've done it, Max. There's something under every leak. What's that you said, Max? I said there's something under every leak. Oh, it's getting late. Pardon? I said it's getting late. Time for bed. Time for bed. That's what I said. But how are we going to sleep with all this noise? I can't hear you. We'll never get to sleep with all this noise. We'll have to go to the barn. Why don't we try the barn? It's bound to be quiet in there. <laughs> And dry in here, Max. At last, Millie. And look, we've got company. Henry and Percy. Charlotte and Dash. They must have come in here to get out of the rain. Shh, we don't want to wake them. I'm so tired, I'm going to fall asleep right away. Oh, me too. Good night, Millie. Good night, night, Max. Quack, Millie. Quack, Is that quack. you? I hope he doesn't do that all night long. Oh, naughty noise. What's that? It's Charlotte plugging in her sleep. She stopped. Oink. Whoa. Whoa. Oink. Oink. It's only Percy. Mm. Now Henry's joined in. Mm. And Dash. I've got a feeling this is going to be a very long night indeed. First thing in the morning, I'm going to fix that roof.
We've finished, Millie. The roof's all fixed. And it won't be letting in the rain anymore, will it, Max? No, 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 no. A job done well. Is a job well done. Max, do you see what I see? I certainly do. That little fluffy white cloud we saw before isn't so little and fluffy and white anymore. But Millie, you know what that means. I certainly do, Max. We get to try out our fixed leaky roof. That's not so leaky anymore. Race you inside. Um, uh, Millie! Oh, Max, there's nothing I like more than to watch the rain pitter pattering down outside. When you're inside, you snug, dry house. <sighs> no more leaky roof, Max. No more leaky roof, Millie. As we always say, a, a job, job done, done well is a job well done. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Captain Millie? Yes, Captain Max? Does it look like good weather for fishing? It looks like perfect weather for fishing. Caught anything yet, Captain Millie? Not yet, Captain Max. Have a look through your telescope. Maybe there's a whale about scaring all the fish away. Good idea, Captain Millie. Oh, I'm so hungry. I could eat anything. Nope. No sign of any whales. <laughs> oh! Max overboard! Quick, Captain Max. Grab hold of the oar. I've got it, Captain Millie. Heave ho! Heave ho! There. You're safe now, Captain Max. <laughs> I didn't know indoor fishing could be so much fun. And look! Fresh fish for dinner! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yum! My favourite! Are we all here? Now, if everyone's sitting comfortably, I'll begin. <clears throat> Henry the horse combed his mane and tied a red ribbon in his tail. Today is show day, said Henry. I want to look very handsome when I arrive at the show. There are medals for the best dressed animals. Just then, Henry saw Shirley the sheep trotting past his window on her way to the show. She was looking very smart in her high-heeled shoes. I have some smart shoes in my wardrobe, thought Henry. They'll help me win a medal. So he put them on. But as Henry opened the door, he saw Dash the Duck racing down the road to the show. He was looking very flash in his bright red trousers. I have some flash red trousers in my wardrobe, thought Henry. They'll help me win a medal. So he put them on. But as Henry walked down his garden path, he saw Charlotte the Chook clucking along to the show. She was looking very beautiful in her stripy satin waistcoat. I have a beautiful satin waistcoat in my wardrobe, thought Henry. It'll help me win a medal. So he put it on. But as Henry opened his front gate, he met Daisy the cow strolling down the road to the show. She was looking very smart in her gorgeous flowery hat. I have a gorgeous hat in my wardrobe, thought Henry. If I wear it to the show, I'll be sure to win a medal. So he went back inside and put it on. Henry looked very handsome as he pranced down the road to the show. The others have nice clothes, but I have smart shoes and flash pants and a beautiful waistcoat and a gorgeous hat. I'm sure to be the best dressed animal at the show. When Henry got to the bridge over the river, he heard someone calling. Help! Help! It was Percy the pig. He had fallen over the side of the bridge 
and splashed into the water. And now he was stuck on a mud island in the middle of the river. Help! Help! cried Percy. I can't swim! Don't worry, Percy, called Henry. I'll get you out of there. Henry quickly galloped off the bridge to the edge of the river. His handsome shoes sank into the smelly mud. Muddy water lapped around the bottom of Henry's bright red trousers. Help! Help! called Percy. Henry waded into the river. Water splashed all over his beautiful waistcoat. Henry reached the muddy island. Climb on my shoulders, Percy, said Henry. I'll give you a piggyback. <laughs> Percy climbed onto Henry's shoulders and he knocked Henry's gorgeous hat into the water. Henry struggled back through the water, up the muddy river bank, and Percy slid off his shoulders into the long grass. Oh, thank you, Henry, said Percy. You saved me. Now let's go to the show. Henry was looking at his clothes. His shoes, his trousers and his waistcoat were covered in slimy, smelly mud and his hat was floating away down the river. I'll never win the medal at the show, sighed Henry. When Henry and Percy arrived at the show, the judges were handing out medals to the best dressed animals. Shirley and Dash and Charlotte and Daisy were all winners. But Percy whispered in the judges' ears. We have one more medal to hand out, said the judges. It goes to someone who isn't very well dressed, but who was a hero today. They gave Henry a very special medal for saving his friend. Hooray for Henry! cheered all his friends. The end! Hooray! <laughs> That's our story for today. <laughs> Thank you, my darlings. It was my pleasure. What a hot day! What a hot, hot day! <clears throat> You're right, Henry. We need to find a way to cool down. Oh, but how? <clears throat> Good idea, Henry. A long, cold drink of icy water. Good brain work, Henry. Oh, however do you think of these things? long cold drink of water with lots and lots of ice will cool us down right away. Oh no! <gasps> what is it? We've got no ice! Oh, and without any ice our water won't be cool. Oh, Millie, 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 what are we going to do? Maybe we should ask Percy. You think he'd know how to get cool? Of course, Max. Pigs are much cleverer than you think. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's ask him. So that's what we need to know, Percy. On a boiling hot day like today... How do you keep cool? Oink, 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 You oink, roll oink. in the mud. Huh? Roll in the mud? Thank you, Percy. You've been very helpful. I think we might try something different from rolling in the mud, Max. I think that's a good thought, Millie. <laughs> now, who else might know how to keep cool? Um, what about Charlotte? Smart thinking, Max. Oh, let's go and ask her right away. Oink, 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 oink. That was a very clever idea, Charlotte. Using a fan to make us cool. Oh, a very, very clever idea. Thank you, Millie. Oh, that's nice and cool. You're welcome, Max. 
There's just one small problem. <sighs> What's that, Max? <sighs> All this fanning is making me hotter. Much hotter. We need to go somewhere nice and cool. But where? Somewhere with water. And where we can lie in the shade. Hmm. <laughs> of course! The beach! The beach is the perfect place to be on a hot, hot day. Now, what do we need for a day at the beach? Hmm. Something to sit on. A rug. I'll get it. Now, what else do we need? Something to sit under. An umbrella. I'll get it. And we'll also need... Something to build sandcastles with. A bucket and spade. I'll get them. And... Something to protect us from the sun. Hats and sunscreen. Let's, Let's get, get them. them. That's everything we need for a day at the beach. Max, are you absolutely sure that's everything we need? I certainly am. Absolutely, completely, certainly sure? Yes, yes, yes. No. <laughs> because I was thinking of something to wear if we're going in the water. Our swimsuits. Oh, Millie, I am so silly. I'll get them. Mm -hmm. Now we have everything we need for a day at the beach. Ready, Max? Beach, here we come. But, Millie, I'm sure there's something we've forgotten. Forgotten, Max? What could we possibly forget? We can't leave the animals. And the beach is too far to take them. This really is a puzzle. And something of a pickle. It's a real pickle puzzle. What a tricky riddle, what a puzzling puzzle. It's a muddly mix-up, it's a mixed-up muddle. It's got us quite bamboozled and it's got us quite befuddled. We're quite confused, it's quite a kerfuffle. But we can work it out, although it's a mystery. We can work it out. Hmm, let's see. <laughs> if we go to the beach... Then we can't take the animal. But if we don't go to the beach... Then we'll never escape the hot weather. <gasps> I've had an idea, Max. Is it a good idea, Millie? I think it's a good idea. My idea is, instead of going to the real beach... Uh, yes? Let's go to the duck pond and pretend we're at the beach. That's an excellent idea, Millie. I thought it might be. Then let's get going! To the Duck Pond Beach! What beach game should we play first, Millie? Beach ball catch? Or sandcastle building? Or collecting pretend seashells? Or dangling our toes in the duck pond sea? 
Or just going for a walk around our duck pond beach. So many beach things to do. On such a hot, hot day. Quack. What's that, Dash? Quack, quack, quack. Up in the sky. Clouds. Dark clouds. Dark storm clouds. Where did the sun go? I don't know where the sun went. But here comes the rain. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, quack, quack. It might be nice weather for you. But we don't have our raincoats. Run! Quack! Quack, 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 quack. Oh, we made it. Just in time. And here comes the rain. <laughs> the rain is good for the plants. And good for the duck. But not good for a day at the duck pond beach. <laughs> So much for our beach games. No beach ball catch. No sand castle building. No collecting pretend seashells. No dabbling our toes in our duck pond sea. Or going for a walk around our duck pond beach. <gasps> Wait a minute, Millie. What's the next best thing to walking on the beach in the sun? Walking on the beach in the rain. Here's your umbrella, Max. Thank you. And here's your umbrella, Millie. Thank you, too. All ready to splish and splosh? Splish and splosh away, Max. And after our walk in the rain... Yes, Max? We can have a picnic. An indoor duck pond beach picnic. <laughs> That's an excellent idea, Max. Oh, I thought it might be. Look out, puddles. Here we come. Ha, 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 ha.